Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If this reading resonates with you. Okay, I didn't drop everything. Woo, we are wrapping up Libra season. Wrapping it up. Wrapping up Libra season. This is your reading from October 18th to October 24th. Wrapping up the season. Okay. Happy birthday to all of my beautiful Libras that have birthdays this week. Also, thank you guys so much for all of the birthday wishes. I've seen them all. I love them all. I received them all. Um, thank you guys so much. I tried to reply to them all, y'all. But I felt like SpongeBob, you know, when he was he was clicking. <laughs> He was clicking the remote. <laughs> His arm fell off. Oh my gosh. But I tried to, to reply to all of them, but I received all of the love. Okay. But anywho, let's get into your weekly reading. So today I'm going to be using my the Light Seas Tarot and also my Modern Witch deck. We're going to go right in. We're going to get one for each day of the week. Okay, it looks like somebody has the wrong perception about something. Okay, about some type of repeat offender this week. All right, justice is definitely going to be served. Somebody has the wrong perception about something. Somebody is seeing things like they're not seeing things the way that it should be. Okay, there's a new beginning coming. Somebody is also seeing something like that a new beginning can't happen. Somebody could have a negative mindset. This could also be you. You got the tower card behind this new beginning. So there's something that broke down that was painful. We keep talking about this energy. I'm feeling like Libra, there's a men, there's a mending fences energy. There's um, coming around, coming full circle type of energy for you guys this week. And we keep on getting this energy of something broken, bring something new. Uh, we know that's the cycle of life, but sometimes it'd be like, okay, what what I broke? What I broke now? What I break? But that's the cycle of life. Recycling. Something was tore down to be to be built up to bring new, to bring this ace of wands, this new energy, this new way of life, this new excitement, this new passion, some type of new creative ideas to you, new creative um, insights, okay? It's more than an idea. This is something you're feeling in your gut, like it's like you're feeling new creative endeavors are coming. What else do we have for Libra? Some of you guys could be going to a new place, a new job this week. You're out here. Libra said, I'm out here, okay? And let's get one more card for you guys. So just right off the bat, I can see somebody has some type of wrong idea about some, some injustices, about somebody who got over. Trust your intuition. For some of you guys, this could be somebody else that's trying to get your perception turned upside down. Somebody is trying to turn you upside down, but it seems like you know more. You know. You know what it is, okay? Justice is definitely coming. Even though just, justice hasn't been served yet, yep, and behind that you have the king of, the king of swords, you know. You know like you know you know. I'm sorry, I thought I heard something. You know, like you know, you know. I feel like somebody is trying to take their actions and make them seem like they aren't bad. You got the seven of swords energy. Somebody is trying to get you to see, see them in a light that everyone else sees them. And just because you see through the bullshit, because you have this high, this high priestess energy where you're trusting your intuition, somebody's trying to change your perception of things. Okay. But justice does come. This brings some type of new, some type of new beginning, some type of new way of life, some type of new excitement comes in. Possibly this can happen at work. It makes you more dedicated. Like almost it makes you more like 
I feel like for some of you guys, you may be working together with this person, okay? Some of you guys may come into some type of understanding or this may bring you to a new job or something like that. You have the Queen of Swords, so this is someone who is very, you know, who has a great sight. Who trusts what she feels and speaks her truth. And then you have the Two of Pentacles and you're balancing life now, balancing things being able to being able to um balance things being able to move on with violence work work and life also um work and play work in relationships just finding balance and things the dualities also um also this could also be some type of connections for a lot of you we're gonna see what's going on though because somebody is trying to like you know the truth about something. You know about somebody's wrongdoings or you know about somebody not being completely honest with you. You know about somebody like getting ready to attack. It's like same old, same old thing. Like this person is getting in the same position using the same tactics and yet they're trying to get you to see something differently. Or for some of you guys, you had to step back and look at something differently so you can see someone. If that makes sense to you. But I feel like somebody is trying to get you to see something differently. Somebody is trying to get your perception to change. You got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. That is you knowing. That's that's a feeling of knowing. And somebody is trying to get that to change. Like somebody doesn't want you to know them as the repeat offender. But... We've been talking about this repeat offender, so I might just do a reading on repeat offenders because we've been talking about them. Libra, I got y'all. Don't worry. We coming back refreshed. I got so much. <laughs> so much. So much love to get. Okay. What messages? What messages do we have? Tell me more about the hangman for Libra. You got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Somebody's moving around for no reason. Somebody, there, there is, look. Seven, so I can't make this shit up. I really can't make it up. And I was feeling it. And that's why I was like, no, let me do it over. Let me do these. Re you don't understand how I, like, went over and did this over. Like, um... I was feeling these hostilities. Even in your morning inspo, these hostilities came up. Um, somebody's trying to get you to see them in a different light. This could be a Sagittarius here. Um, somebody is just moving around reckless as well. It's like their movement is not making sense. And if only they would stop moving around reckless, doing stupid shit, you would be able to see them in a light that they want you to. But also somebody could be wanting some type of stable commitment. Somebody could be wanting you to see them in a different type of light, but you see them as this seven of swords energy and then it pops up here. It pops up here. So I strongly do feel like that somebody is just moving around just cause it's like reckless moving and somebody don't want you to see them as recklessly moving around recklessly getting into different things somebody doesn't want you to see like that libra this could be you yep somebody's hiding something the repeat offender is hiding something something's hidden You got the high priestess behind this. It's like, you know, so stop lying. Somebody keeps lying when you already know the truth. Tell me more about the hangman. You got the emperor. And you know what? Justice gets served on Wednesday. I do this as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you ever, but you know, it doesn't kind of make, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I feel like something happens by Wednesday, and that is the Aries moon. And you do have this, this emperor coming out. This is the blood moon, the hunter's moon. It's almost like 
you see them, but it's like you're sitting back. For some, some something happens Monday. Um, some something could happen as the week jumps off. You see them, but you're sitting back. It's like you know something's gonna come to light. Something is definitely gonna come to light. For some of you guys, this is seeming like very specific, and I'm just I'm just going with it because you know <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. It's like I'm feeling this type of energy. It's like you're watching a person. You're watching someone do do wrong, lie, okay? Watching somebody get over on someone else. And you're just sitting back and you're like, don't worry. It's all going to come out to light. It's like you're patient. It's like you're not acting. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. You're just watching somebody. It's like you like, I'm gonna let you hang yourself with your own rope. Tell me more about the um seven of swords. <clears throat> the fool. I had this before. Look at them both. Look at them both at, at the cliff. Somebody's trying to act like they're super innocent. At the bottom of the deck, you have the death card. Somebody is trying to act like they're super innocent, but both people are on these cliffs. Look, who, look who's about to jump off this cliff. Somebody is trying to act like that they're super innocent. I have to, I have to show you these things. This could be how they're appearing and how they want you to see them. Like, oh no, I'm just, you know, I'm trusting. I'm just, I'm open and I'm, you know, I'm neutral and I'm. I don't know anything. I forgot. I'm just, I'm innocent and I'm just following my heart. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's like, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. And not saying that you a bullshitter, but Libra, we've had our times, okay? And just like people who try to act like they don't do anything, they forget that. Like, it's like, you, you can't, you can't. And I felt this energy at the bottom of the deck. You have the death card. Something was something. There's a major ending happening. Or there was some type of major ending here. It looks like almost like somebody's going to be begging for your forgiveness. Begging for your mercy almost. That's what I'm feeling. Like somebody could be begging. For, here go this son. Is going down now. I feel like in this in this relationship, a lot of people got hurt, or in this situation, this could be a job. A lot of people got hurt. You got hurt. That wind is blowing out there. You got hurt. There was a lot going on here, and I feel like for some of you guys, this thing that happens this week is going to finally let you be able to move on. For some of you guys, somebody wants to, somebody wants you to see them as innocent. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this is going to be unexpected. But I feel like for, for you, this is good news because it's like you see them. And here's that, here's that high priestess. It's like you've been weighing this out. Like, is this, is this, you, you've been, and here, like, look at the justice card. So I'm, I'm going off of this. I forget y'all can't see sometimes. I begin excited. Going off of this two of pentacles here. You've been weighing this options out. Like, should you go with this new type of excitement or should you listen to this? Somebody could have called you out of the blue or you could have got together out of the blue. You heard some good news out of the blue. Somebody wants you to trust some type of good news, some type of lies that they're telling you. Like I said, you can't bullshit a bullshitter and you've been weighing this out for a long time, but the justice card is out here. It's coming out. Behind this is your intuition. Behind this is your inner knowing. Something's not right here. And the fact that you've listened to yourself because you stayed back, it's like you've paused. Look at how this emperor is sitting there, just sitting on their throne, just like, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch and I'm going to wait and see. It's like you've sat there and you've waited. You're waiting. Tell me more about the justice card. Got the ace of pentacles. This is going to bring you 
it's almost like it's bringing you them on the platter. It's almost like this is going to give you the clarity. I, I want to say sit back and watch the show. That's what I want to say. Tell me more about the justice card for Libra. I want to say sit back. <laughs> Excuse me. Justice in the hang one. <laughs> okay. Now. Now, as justice is served, something's being served to you on a silver platter. <laughs> I just say that ain't. <laughs> Cut it out, girl. Something's being served to you on a silver platter here. It's like you looked at the situation with all angles. Some of you guys could have just been getting to know someone. Tell me more about the justice card. Somebody could have been getting to know someone. This could be happening at work. Hello, ma'am. With the empress. Some of you guys, you're going to see exactly who you really are. For some of you guys, because of the wrongdoings or somebody trying to get over on you and the way that you react in that, you're going to see the reflection that is going to show you is your empress, your empress energy. That's what it's going to show you, your ability to, your ability to nurture and grow things and also your ability to just know, trusting your intuition. You're going to trust that more. There's something that's going to happen that's going to get you to start trusting your intuition more. Exactly how you feel about a situation, that's exactly how it's going to come out. It's like some of you guys, you could have tried to look at the situation from a different angle. And no matter what, the way you were looking at it, it pops up. Also, there could be somebody here trying to protect you. Somebody here with this emperor energy. But this can also be a boss. Um, something could be happening at work. This could be a boss that's doing some type of funny play behind your back. Shortening your checks. Taking your money from you. Um, just trying to make sure at the bottom of the deck, look. You got the five of wands. Um, just trying to make sure that you just have some type of disruptive energy. But the way that you sit back is just this sitting back. I feel like for some of you guys, there's another person that's sitting back watching as well. That's mad. That's mad that this is happening. But you're sitting back like, what goes around, you know, comes around. I'm not putting no energy into that. This person has to deal with their own karma. And even if I don't see them get their karma, I know how it works. It'll be inner suffering that happens. Even if the thing that I want, the, you know, the... um. Revenge that I want doesn't happen because you don't work in revenge. We work in growing things. This also changed your perceptions about what you see. Yep, this comes from some type of drama. There's going to be some type of drama. Somebody could actually say something that hurts your feelings. Like you can hear something about yourself that actually hurts your feelings. Okay. Also, people could be trying to, to, to get into, to invade your personal space, to try to get into your business as well. There's a cycle that's changing here. There's a, there's a big ending that's happening. This could possibly be with a family member or something like that. There was some type of narcissism. There was some type of negative force that was driving your family or driving you and siblings or you and a parent or you and some type of family members or close-knit people together. It was like you were fighting this battle all by yourself for a lot of you guys. It's like now somebody's asking you how you feel and you're drained. 
Like, how, how the fuck you feel? Okay? <laughs> Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Yep, after fighting. After fighting for a long time. After standing your ground for a long time. After standing strong, looking strong with inside you felt weak for a long time. I feel like somebody could be getting over for a long time. It's just been a repeat offender. Like you keep on fighting this repeat offender. You got the seven of wands, seven of swords. This repeat offender, you keep on fighting this person. And it's like they keep on trying to find different angles to attack you in. And that energy is leaving. There's a new beginning from that. Tell me more about the three of pentacles. This could possibly be happening on Thursday. Tell me more about the ace of wands. Let me get another one. I've been doing two. Let me just go ahead and clarify with two. Tell me more about the ace of wands. There's a partnership that you won't have to fight. Yep. Yeah? There's a divine commitment that you won't have to fight. After going through this series, there's a divine commitment, a divine partnership that you won't have to fight here. That's going to come in union together. A divine order, divine connection. It seems like after fighting, after having your guard up, after not being able to trust, after dealing with this energy here, there's something that you won't have to fight anymore. There's a divine partnership, a divine connection that's coming towards you. Magician, magician energy. It's like you went through something. You went through all these things to get your tools. Now you have it. Behind this divine connection is you with all your tools. It's like you had to. You had to sit back and watch some fuckery play out in front of you. Tell me more about the three of pentacles. Excuse my language, y'all. I just been feeling this, like, just been feeling this energy, and now it's popping out. This is the abundance you've been waiting for. This is the teamwork. This is the dedication you've been waiting for. Long time coming. For some of you guys, you're moving on on this journey, dedicated on this journey with your cup open and ready to be filled. We talked about this in the morning inspo. With your cup open and ready to be filled and no longer are you depleting yourself because you didn't deplete yourself here. You learned not to deplete yourself. You learned to give from your saucer, from your overflow so you can keep your cup flowing. It's like now you're working in better harmony together, okay? Some of you guys also have something to say. Somebody could be coming. Somebody could be coming to tell you how they feel about you for a long time coming. They took their precious time, but they're here now. And now they're ready to work with you. Now they're ready to work with you. I don't know if you're going to say yes to that or you're going to say, bye, Felicia. <laughs> um, but somebody's ready to work with you. I feel like since your heart is open, now you're ready to receive it more. Ready to receive. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys, somebody wanted you to see them as... Think about the past. I feel like you, you go into deep thought and deep self um, self assessment by the end this weekend. Some of you guys, make sure you get your rest this weekend. Yeah, you're thinking about the balance. You're thinking about it. For some of you guys, somebody could have just um, came out of the woodworks or something, told you how they feel, or you're feeling in this way where you're ready to give of yourself. You're like, you're tired of fighting and I'm ready to start a new beginning. I'm ready to get, I don't want to have to fight these people off. I don't want to have to have this guard up all the time. I'm ready for a new beginning. Like, it's like you're moving on now with your heart open. And now you're thinking about past relationships, really getting closure, thinking about past relationships, also thinking about 
could be commitment issues or balancing balancing love in your life. What does that look like? Acting as if you already have it. How would you go about balancing in your life? It looks like the Queen of Swords is thinking about potentially opening themselves up again to love. You got the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's like you got everything else, but with this Two of Pentacles, it's like you're ready to balance something. You're ready to balance new new love in your life. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles for Libra. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles for Libra. Yes. Some of you guys are thinking about, should you have this negative mindset or should you just let the angels do what they do and let the angels connect you and open, let the angels connect you. This is what you're balancing. Angels are working. Your negative mindset cannot, cannot come here anymore. From this past, this past type of energy, you got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? For some of you guys, this is a Taurus that's coming in. For some of you guys, you're, you're, you're reminiscing on the past when you didn't have your cup filled. When you thought you had to do everything yourself. Now you're realizing about your divine feminine energy. How things are just going to work out. I'm thinking how you sat back here and watched things play out and you didn't break a sweat. You didn't come step out your energy at all. You are here on all on all aspects. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Here. You let that work for you here. And now you see things from a totally different perspective. Now you keep thinking about those times when you were left out in the cold. Like this weekend is going to be a very self-reflective type of weekend for you. Okay, Libra? Um, your negative mindset definitely has to go and let the angels continue to do what they're doing. Stay stay in tune with your intuition and you are on the right path with this King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Libra, that's your weekly reading. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.